Hi, welcome to the Online Jewelry Academy. I'm Professor John R. and I'm your instructor. In a previous video, I showed you how to construct this copper chain segment using copper jump rings and silver solder. Now, many of you want to know how to disguise those seams so that you don't have the contrasting light color of the silver against the more brown color of the copper. Well, you could send it off to a plater and in another video, we take you on a field trip and a plater explains how that process takes place using electricity. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a similar process that doesn't involve electricity. Now, this process has been around forever. Variations of this process were used by ancient mariners to coat iron nails with copper in order to prevent those nails from corroding quickly in seawater. This process uses a little bit of your spent pickle or used pickle that's saturated with copper sulfate. That's what turns it blue. We're also going to use fresh steel, in this case steel wool, a pair of copper tongs, and some neutralization fluid. What this is, is it's tap water with a little bit of baking soda. And you need this because you don't want to handle a piece directly out of your pickle pot. You could get a chemical burn. In addition to this, you also want to practice good safety habits and put on some eye protection just in case you splash any of the pickle solution into your face. The way that this process works is when we contaminate the pickle solution with a little bit of the steel, what it does is it activates the copper atoms in the solution and forces them to find a place where they can bind together. Luckily, many of them are going to find that place on the surface of your project. Let me show you how it's done. The first thing that you want to do is take your project and put it into your used pickle solution. Next, you want to tear off a little piece of steel wool, doesn't take much, and you're going to toss this into the bowl along with your project. Now that steel is going to corrupt the pickle and excite those copper atoms. Now you can already see where copper is attracted to the steel and starting to plate the steel. Now this will migrate to your project and to speed things up let's just nudge it over next to your project. Okay. Now we're going to let that stay in and allow those seams to be coated with copper. Okay, we've had the copper chain segment in the solution for a few minutes and you can see that most of the copper sulfate that was in solution has now attached itself to either a piece of steel wool or the project. Now let me take this out of here. Remember when you remove your project, always put it into the neutralization solution just to neutralize any acid that's on that surface. And let me dry this off. Now to finish this piece, what you can do is you can either brass brush over the coated surfaces or you can put the piece in the tumbler. It's always best to tumble chain. Never take the chain to a buffing motor. And now, voila, look at that. All of the seams that were soldered shut with silver now blend and disappear. It looks like it's a copper chain 100%. Have fun coating your copper projects and check out our other videos and products on the onlinejewelryacademy.com. Thanks for watching.